Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be doing some pork tacos on our Pit Boss Sportsman. My name is RJ and this is Beginners Barbecue Outdoors. All right, so here you have it. Today, it's a nice Sunday. Woke up and I felt like I wanted some tacos. I wanted some pork tacos. It so happens that we had some pork chops in the freezer. So I thought I'm thought them out and we have some bone-in pork chops. I'm gonna smoke them in the sportsman and we're gonna make tacos. So I'm gonna show you how we we're gonna do this. This is something simple and you guys can make a lot of them if you guys want to. I got three right here but you guys can make a, a lot more than this and it'll probably take the same time cooking time. All right when I make tacos it could be pork tacos, chicken tacos, carne salad tacos. This is the, what I use to season it. Either, either it's Larry's or Johnny's seasoning. These two are the ones that we use. So normally we'll have Johnny's and then sometimes we'll switch it to Larry's. It's almost the same. Larry's seasoning and Johnny's seasoning are the ones that we use when we do the seasoning for our tacos, our taco meat. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now this one you wanna go light, cause like I said, it's a seasoning, not a rub. So it has your salt and everything in it. The seasoned salt, so. Now, we don't need a rub or anything. We're just gonna go ahead and add some on top. Like I said, not a lot. And then we're gonna turn around and do the same on this side. All right, and that right there is good enough. All right, so how are we gonna cook these? That is the question. So we're gonna put our pit boss to 325 degrees. I'm gonna put these bad boys in there and we're gonna go the internal temp up to 160, 165. That being said, let's go ahead and fire up our pit boss. All right, our pit boss is up to temp 325. All right, it's been an hour. All right, guys, we're back. Our pork chops are ready. Now let's go to the next step. Is yes, we're gonna cut them in pieces. So we're gonna take this off the bone. Now you guys can buy them boneless, probably easier, but we're gonna go ahead and just cut them off. Now we're gonna do, just cut them in pretty much like these. And then put them together in little tiny pieces. All the way down. And just like that. I'm gonna do the same to all these and we'll be back when we're done. All right, so there you have it. All cut in little tiny pieces. Right here we have our tortillas. Put them on like that. Good pork tacos, depending how meaty you want them. We get our salsa. All right, and then before we get into this, let's have a quick recap of what we did today. Let's go ahead and give this a try. This one right here is called my name. Oh, wee. Look at that. What makes it so good when you cook it on the smoker that it gives it that smoky flavor too. So with the salsa, the meat, 
the meat adding that smoky flavor to it, just the whole thing just comes together perfect. This is another must try. Now on the salsa, I know people don't know how to make their own. Now I, this one is the one that I bought from a Mexican meat market. They normally sell salsas. And there is probably where you'll find the best tasting salsas. I love the red one. They, they have a green one that is also so good. And so when, when my wife doesn't have the stuff to make the salsa, I just rather go here and buy two, buy the red and the green one. Um, Cause the flavor of these are, and they're not spicy. So they're just a little hint of spiciness, but the flavor is ridiculous, man. It's, it's really good. Now make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're just getting started. We'll see you guys next time.